Leo. How you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Crow Tarot. We are gonna be doing your first half of May general reading here. We're gonna start off with some animal energy. I like I like it. And then we'll go right into the tarot. All right. Let's see, what is the animal energy for my lovely lions for first half of May? My lovely, lovely Leos. Oh yes, you better work. Okay, <laughs> sea serpent. I love this so much. Here's why. This is the completion of, of healing. It's the completion of a cycle. This is inner healing that manifests externally. It's external healing that benefits us internally. This is just beautiful. This is all of the things. <laughs> this is all of the things. This is, but again, it's really that completion of a healing cycle. You've learned the lessons you needed to learn, and now you're on to the next and the new. Beautiful, but this is emotional. Emotional, emotional healing. Lessons learned, coming full circle around that. God, I love that. You know, oftentimes, we can't go into or really manifest anything new until we've completed this, the sea serpent. Seriously, this is really dotting those I's and crossing those emotional T's. <sighs> I love it. Okay. Think about it too. You know, the sea serpent, the, the snake that sheds its skin, gets a new skin. It's an uncomfortable time. When the snake sheds its skin, that's what it's most vulnerable to predators. You know what I mean? So this is not necessarily an easy thing. It's not something that happens overnight. So when you get this... Some accolades are due, darlings, because you've been through it. <laughs> Trust and believe. All right, what's going on for my Leos for the first half of May? Okay, I cannot. Wheel of Fortune, was I not just talking about the circle effect? Yes, and did I not say that you cannot manifest new things until you finished out this cycle? And this is what this is. This is, fortune is very much in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Yes, like I said, you better work, Leos. I love this. Come on, what else you got? <laughs> what else you got, Leo? Oh, another thing too, why I'm so obsessed with this is because you see how the fixed signs are represented here? Um, you know, we've got Scorpio and, and Taurus, and we, we've got you here, the Leo, because y'all are a fix on too, so I love that you're, you're repped here on the first card out, right? Yay! Okay. Let's see what else is going on for Leo. The Major Arcana right off the bat, paired with the Sea Serpent. Woo! I like it. Yes, see? Okay, I cannot. You got two tens here. Is this the time of completion, or is this the time of completion? Ten of, so, I'm so obsessed. I love, I love, I love the Ten of Swords. Not as such a huge fan of the Eight or the Nine, or the Seven, but I love the Ten of Swords. Because this is a complete and full ending so that you can go on to the next. From this Ten of Swords, you know, this poor little baby crow that's getting stabbed, from this blood will emerge new life and newness. You've got two Tens here. Completion of cycles with the Sea Serpent. Can you even? I can't even. I love it. Listen, hard times, I, you know, this doesn't come up if things haven't been difficult. Let's just keep it real, okay? But you've completed it. Woo, woo. Okay, let's see what else is going on from all Leo's. God, I'm obsessed. <gasps> oh my God. The emperor? Are you serious? The emperor, okay. Aries energy here. This is the boss. This is the OG. This is the OG of the OGs of the OGs. The emperor knows how to work really, really hard and then sit back and appreciate his bounty. See what I'm saying? Just a real boss on his throne here, right? <laughs> I never noticed that he was wearing this like necklace of feathers of a bird that are not his own. That's kind of like intense. <laughs> It's like, I slay, and then I'm going to wear you as a piece of jewelry. But this is wonderful. This is, this is really being a boss. It's being in control of your life and your destiny and your path forward. <laughs> I, I swear I never noticed that before. I love it. Woo! Leah's. All right. <clears throat> Let's get a clarifier for this. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortuna. Clarifier for the Wheel of Fortune. 
King of Cups. Hey, boss, that's what it is. Listen, this is what it is. You know, the King of Cups feels very deeply, but isn't necessarily expressive of what he feels. Okay. Is what I can say. So off the top here, I think you might be, if you've been in an energy where you've been feeling really deeply, but you've been holding things in, you haven't been verbalizing them, right? I feel like the time for that is done and it's time to really speak your truth about how you're feeling. And maybe this is, you know, the sea serpent too is very much about feelings. So you might be being called to really face this stuff up front so that you can move through it and be done with it. This can be pain from the past, pain from the recent past, pain from the far past, things that did and didn't work out that you have emotions around that you're being called to handle like a king and an emperor, okay? You, you've gotta let it in so that you can let it out, basically. But look at all this good stuff once you do that. I'm obsessed. Okay, let's get a clarifier on this to the source. Nine of Wands, to clarify the Ten of Swords. So the Nine of Wands is brilliant, I feel like, in this context, because this is someone who does not give up. This is someone who they are tired in the traditional deck. They got a bandage on their head and they're all like, oh, Lord, how can I keep going? But I'm going to keep going. I don't know how, but I'm going to keep going, right? There's also this feeling, this can feel be feeling a little guarded too, right? A little guarded, needed to protect what little energy reserve you do have left, right? Ten of Swords, this is the end of this cycle of feeling exhausted and tired and like you don't know how much left you have to give, period. Mm-hmm. Now, let's clarify the emperor. Let's clarify the emperor, my beautiful Leos. Oh, really? King of Wands, did you really get two kings here? Did you really get two kings and two major arcanas? You know, the, the King of Wands is gorgeous and why i love the king of wands so very much because he's a lot like the emperor in this way actually um oh and you have another snake here sea serpent yeah definitely a time of healing but it's it's something that has a completion date on it i'm not saying like i'm not getting the feeling here that it's like oh this is gonna be a long road leos like oh you better buckle up no 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 no. this has been stuff that's been going on and you're being called to finally heal it so that you can manifest new things after you complete this cycle of emotional healing it feels like a lot of disappointments here emotional pain okay could be about relationships lack of relationships work lack of work you know and king of wands is such a beautiful energy to get here aligned with the emperor because this is saying that you don't need to go after anything right now you, which is so such a relief isn't it like, you know when you get a reading or you're talking to anybody and they're like, you gotta get after it. You gotta go, go, go. You gotta, we've well, already done that. You've got nine of wands and the 10 of swords. And the wheel of fortune is very much about receiving as well. You've gotta trust that you've put in all the effort, you've done all that you can do, and now it's a time to sit back and receive. Receive the bounty. Remember what I said about the emperor at the top? He's really good about putting the work in, but then he knows how at the end of the day to sit back and look over all that he's achieved, right? And really appreciate and enjoy it. That's balance as far as I'm concerned, which is another way of saying equal parts work and play. And the king of wands is really, I feel like, you know, I feel like, because the king of wands is a very receptive energy as well because he's already gone through, you know, the page, and the knight and you know the queen is also about receiving but the king of wands is, is just like man i have really come through it and won and i love that this is repping your fire sign self as well here i think you guys can relate to this and it really feels like you've got a message about this snake energy here too which is healing and transforming from one state of being into another into an updated upgraded version but you've got to go through this water and the swords to, to get here, right? The emperor and the king of wands, you're being called to really discern. Have you done everything that you can around this emotional cycle? Have you crossed all your I's and crossed your T's and dotted all of your I's? Have you really delved the inner depths of maybe things that you didn't want to look at, that maybe were cold in your, you know, unconscious, your subconscious, whatever? Because there is, this is emotional, what we're looking at here. This is emotional work. 
the mind is also very much involved in our emotions in a lot of different ways, right? But this is really saying this is not a time, this is just a time to allow and receive the healing and the closing up of these old cycles, patterns, and beliefs so that newness can come in and that you can come from a place of strength. That's what this is, Leo. This is very much saying to, you know, the, the cobra here, get your backbone up in a big way, even though you might be feeling a little like worse for the wear a little bit, because like I said, this does not come after a lot of like Dermon Strong, a lot of, um, you know, tough inner work, emotional pain, which leads to healing, right? This does not just come up when everything's been going swell and it's all rainbows and butterflies and Skittles, whatever. You know what I mean? But this is where you're going. You're about to take back control and be of your own life and your own destiny and also, you know, the people that are around you. I feel like this is just a freshness. And I think with this, you know, the emperor is also about making cuts where cuts are needed. And you may be called to cut some things from your life, whether these, again, are, are thoughts or patterns or people, right? But it's necessary at this time so you can move into this major boss energy. But I'm hearing to get here right now, it's really just about making sure that you allow yourself this time to complete this healing, let it in so that you can let it go. And then you're gonna step up and start manifesting in this huge freaking way, right? Good things come to the emperor and the king of wands, right? They're not knights. They don't have to go and pursue it. Knights are about pursuing something, right? But here, the king and the emperor is about receiving it and being discerning about the offers that come your way and, and coming from a place of strength and not a lack mentality. Not every offer that comes your way is going to be for your highest and best good, but how do you know what's what? Unless you are in this energy, this boss energy, darling, right? Because both of these are masculine energies here. So it's like, but it's, but it's also at the top of a masculine energy. It's not a knight. So it's like being in a place to let it come to you, but then your masculine energy is going to come into play when you're discerning whether what's coming to you is in your best path or not. Right? I mean, I absolutely love this for you. This is like major transformation that we're talking about here. My lovely Leo. Yeah, be the lion. I just heard be the lion. That's what this is. You're being called to be the lion. And I love that. Let's get an oracle for y'all. Oracle for my lovely Leos. Let's see if we got one more. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm, okay. I'm so obsessed. Okay. Look at this. Look at this stuff. So we have, okay. Volcano, right? Volatility, right? It's, it's, you know, kind of intense. <laughs> and then we got Milky Way perspective. Okay, I was just thinking about this the other day. Um, you know, I'll do personal readings for myself every now and again, just with Oracle cards and stuff, just to be like, what's, what's coming up? Let me see what's going on. Whenever the Milky Way perspective comes up, I'm like, oh crap, there's gonna need to be something I need perspective around. <laughs> And I feel like this is really speaking to the completion of this sea serpent cycle. You remember when I said that this doesn't come without a lot of like, ugh, a lot of dramatics, a lot of intense, heavy stuff going on here. But I feel like, you know, the message here is that you have to embrace this and allow it in so that you can come out to the other side. I feel like this is what is in the midst. I feel like this is what is at the center of the circle. Not at the completion point, but at the center like the eye of it, the eye of the storm. I feel like this is what lies within the eye of the storm. Volcano, volatility, right? Do you remember what I said about letting it in so that you can let it out? This is the letting it out. I do feel like it might be a little dramatic and a little intense, just like it is when the snake sheds its skin. It is very, it's very uncomfortable for the poor snake. It really, really is. It's very uncomfortable. I mean, does getting your skin peeled off sound particularly like a good time? No right? And to get through this too, just keep your perspective about you. And I, I'm saying like, focus on the light, focus on the light. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a cliche, but let's just go with it. I'm hearing like the light of truth within it and just knowing and keeping your perspective that what is on the other side of what, sometimes this can be so helpful, you guys, it really can be. What is on the other side of what I'm going through right now? Okay. I'm going to release all of this pent up emotion, disappointment, anger here, maybe anger. What's at the root of anger, fear, 
Let it out. I feel like you might really need to purge because guess what follows purging? Sea serpent. What do I mean when I say purge? This can be different for people. This, a purging can be like a physical, well, it can be an emotional thing where you cry or you scream or you yell or you punch a punching bag, right? Purge can be different for different people, but either way, it's a releasing of energies that are, that are just toxic in your body that you don't need anymore. That, that newness can't come in when they're still present. Does that make sense? So what you're doing, think of this <laughs> volcano here as like a spiritual enema. <laughs> so gross. But just think about it. It's a spiritual enema. And once you release it, it's all gone. Right? That, that's the beauty of this here, of this volcano volatility type deal. Right? This is not a halfway, like I'm going to half explode. And then, no, 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 no. Like it's like Sonnet 90, bring it on all at once or not at all. Thank you so much. Right? And just keep your perspective about it. Keep clearing your mind's eye where you're going on the other side of this purging process. But there's old stuff that you need to release, disappointments, maybe even people. But look at where you're going. Oh, the places you'll go. The emperor and the king of wands. Both of these energies have been through this purging and used perspective to get through it. Because sometimes when we purge, it's hard to see the forest through the trees. You know what I mean? And perspective can be a huge help with that. But look at where you're going. The emperor and the king of wands. You're going to be a manifestation magnet because you're not going to have any old emotional crud backing up that you know receiver, that receiving aspect of you and your energy. I feel like I want one more for you guys. I just feel like <laughs> this is very intense. Also, they're bringing this out. You are a fire sign. So <laughs> you have it within you to perform this, you know, spiritual enema or exorcism or whatever it is for you. Once you do it, it's not something you're going to have to do it. Okay? That's the blessing in that. One and done. The longer you've been sitting on this, the more active the volcano will be. This could be a tiny volcano or it could be a big one. Just depends on how long you've been sitting on this stuff that needs to be purged emotionally at the old. Basically. And this is why I wanted another one. Angel therapy. Archangel Raphael. Uh, Raphael, by the way, is the great healer, right? Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Weird. Oh, this is cool. I never noticed this before. Do you see how Raphael is kind of like, I don't really know what that is, but it looks like a sphere of some sort. Can you see that? And then I was, I was drawn to the circle in the middle of the Milky Way perspective. I think this is so poignant and so beautiful because all you can do is all you can do at the end of the day. You can purge this stuff. You can get real real with yourself. You can know that you want to move on to a fresh new cycle or version of yourself or, or just make improvements or whatever this is. But at the end of the day, you can only do your part and what you can do as a human being. Let the celestial, your team, your guides, who God, whoever this is for you, help you with this and make this process a little more seamless. If you ask your, listen, listen, listen. Everybody has a different spiritual standpoint, okay? But I'm just gonna speak on what I know. For me, I work with the angelic realm a lot. Angelite, by the way, really good for you guys right now. See how the colors match up? That's weird. I mean, not in a bad way weird, but angelite will connect you right to the angelic realm. Listen, I'm just gonna talk about this. Y'all may or may not know, I really don't get specific about this kind of stuff, but I'm hearing to do so with y'all. So I'm gonna do it. When you ask your angels for help, and you do have to ask if this resonates with you, okay? I'm gonna talk about angels here for a second. If that resonates for you, you do have to ask for their help to really receive it, right? But if you ask your angels for help, especially Raphael, through this cycle of, of, of healing and purging or whatever this is, making changes, do you know what the difference is gonna be? It's the, di I'm about to get a little bit graphic. <laughs> it's the difference between Having some beautiful, like, I don't mean to get like graphic, but it's like having some beautiful like lube or lotion to help get this skin off in this process to soften it, as opposed to just like ripping this skin off dry and you're gonna crack and bleed. That's what the difference is. You can have an easier time going through this with a little bit of just like, you know, sugar and jam just to help get this, you know, cycle completed, or it can just be like 
fully like this volcano, right? Angels can really help you with that, but you gotta ask for it, okay? But at the end of the day, whoever your person is, your team, your guides, please ask for spiritual assistance during this time. You are doing the good work here, okay? Ask for help and it'll come, I promise you. And again, for those that that resonates with, I would highly recommend Angel Light. Okay? Also connects with, you know, light blue stones are uh, very much connected to the throat chakra as well. And so when purging is involved and letting it in to let it out, sometimes we really need to use our throat chakra, whether it's just to cry, scream, or talk to a good friend about what we're going through, right? Ask for assistance. Ask for help. It's there for you. All right, my lovely, lovely Leos. This was your first half of May general reading. I know this was intense, but all this good stuff here, I'm just excited to see where y'all are going. Okay, um, I hope this was of help to you and resonated with you. If it wasn't, it did. Please let me know in the comments below. I would just love that, my lovely lions. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. But uh, most of all, just really, thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.